Hello, good friends. Today, we want to move on to trigonometry two. And so we are looking at this right angle triangle over here. It's a right angled triangle. So we can safely say that this side, you can actually, you can actually say that we are going to put the symbol here just to show that we are dealing with right angle triangle figure. We can see that we have over here this side is opposite, this side is known as hypotenuse, and this side is adjacent. So from there, we can now move on and say that we are going to define the trigonometric ratios. We have three with their inverses or reciprocals. So we have sine theta, S-I-N-E theta. We want to find the sine of this theta. And it is defined as, this is the abbreviation, S-I-N theta, sine theta is the opposite side over the hypotenuse. So we'll get the units over there. And so we say that is AB over OB. Then cosine theta written as cos theta is the adjacent side over the hypotenuse. And that is OA over OB. Tangent of theta, so tan theta is opposite over adjacent. And that is AB over OA. And then we will now move on to the reciprocals. So the cosecant, so cosec theta is cosec theta, and that is OB over AB. And that is one over sine theta. Second theta or sec theta is OB over OA, and that is equivalent to one over cos theta. And cotangent theta is equal to cot theta, which is OA over AB, and that is one over tan theta. And so these are the trig ratios. Sometimes we'll be given two sides, we'll be asked to find the other. So when it happens, all that we need to do is that we'll be using the Pythagoras theorem to help us to compute the third side. And from there, we can use it to calculate the common trigonometric ratios. So remember, sine theta is opposite over hypotenuse, cos theta is adjacent to the hypotenuse, tan theta is opposite over adjacent, and cosec theta is one over sine theta, sec theta is one over cos theta, cot theta is one over tan theta, or we say that cosec theta is the reciprocal of sine theta. So A, B over O, B becomes O, B over A, B. Cos theta, O, A over O, B now becomes O, B over O, A. And tan theta, AB over OA becomes OA over AB under cot theta. That does it for today. Continue to revise it. Make sure you have written them down somewhere. And then try and see if you can remember. This side is hypotenuse. That side is opposite. This side is adjacent. Now when we move this angle to this side, then this side becomes adjacent and that side becomes opposite. But if the angle is here, this side is opposite and that side is adjacent. Thank you for your time and your attention. Bye.